Thank you. We're just going to plug in my computer. Thank you very much, DLD, uh, and thank you everyone who's stuck around long enough to see me. I know I'm the last speaker of the day. Energy levels up and everything else. But uh, yeah, I've got some fun stuff to show you. And I'm going to go a little bit off piste. I'm just going to ad lib a bit. Can you hear me all right? Yeah. All right. OK. So I'm creative evangelist at Happy Finish. Um, we're a company who are based. Can you see that all right? No. Not yet. The gentleman's just getting it set up. Let's get this sorted out. I won't be long. We're a company, uh, while I wait to get the uh, monitor plugged in, we set up 12 years ago. People say, why are you called Happy Finish? And uh, often I have to reassure people we're not a, a massage parlor in Thailand. Uh, forgive me. Um, but we did start life 12 years ago as a stills finishing company. If you go into Burberry, if you go into Nike, and you see beautiful images on the wall, they've generally been given the finishing treatment by Happy Finish. So that's where the name came from. Three years ago, we decided we'd get into the world of virtual reality experience creation. And we are so busy doing virtual reality right now. Great, we're on. Right now, we're doing a perfume launch with a world-famous supermodel. We've just filmed the Euro champions for Nokia and for UEFA with uh, Real Madrid and Atletico Madrid. We've just filmed the England rugby team doing virtual reality experiences. We've we're currently in Bavaria shooting cows that make yogurt for the Chinese market for a Chinese client. There's all sorts of different work going on at the moment. So I'll start my presentation. If you'd like to follow me on Twitter, I'm at Cy Gosling, and the company is at happy underscore finish. We're now a global company. We're 150 people in Shanghai, Mumbai, London, New York, and Portland, Oregon. Portland, because Nike are based in Portland, and that's one of our biggest clients, OK? So as I said, we started out as a retouch company. Our job was to make beautiful people even more beautiful on the front covers of magazines globally. And we, we've been doing that for a long time, and we still do that today. Um, fashion is a big area of the work that we do, fashion retouch. You can see there Tommy Hilfiger, Burberry with Romeo Beckham. How did he get that job? Um, and, he also, and also Tom Ford. So we work, we've always been working in fashion. It's in our DNA. That's what we were doing from day one. And beauty, of course, companies like L'Oreal work with us, Procter & Gamble, Unilever. We're very good at doing hair and makeup. So we've always come from a beauty and aesthetic perspective. Virtual reality is technology. Tech, tech is about storytelling, whether it's radio, posters, TV, whatever it is, it's just another medium for storytelling. Well, where we come from is let's make that storytelling interesting and beautiful, all right? So we started doing virtual reality three years ago, and when we first started developing concepts for virtual reality, brands were really interested when they saw it, but they said, how are people going to watch this? And then in May 2014, Google Cardboard came out, and this really changed it. This was the democratization of virtual reality. Suddenly, anyone with a smartphone and a cardboard box with two plastic lenses in it could watch virtual reality. And the first ever virtual reality experience for a brand for Google Cardboard was this, Ted Baker. Google recognized it as the very first branded experience. What we did was we created a virtual reality experience. This was back in September 2014. And they said to three companies, we need an experience, but you've only got two weeks to make it. Two companies stepped it away, and Happy Finish went, let's do this. We got the cameras, we got on a motorbike, we went whizzing around London, and we created a film where you see all of London, but you also go on a treasure hunt. There's a gaming element where the letter T for Ted, you move around, you cast the T over these crown jewels, you capture the jewels, and whoever could capture the most jewels in a set period of time won £1,000 to spend in Ted Baker's uh, flagship store in Regent Street in London. VR gets PR. If you have an event and you have people with headsets, people snap it, photograph it, and it gets shared. It's a very tweetable thing. So that was the first thing done for Google Cardboard ever for a brand. And the first use of Google Cardboard in London Fashion Week, or even virtual reality at London Fashion Week, was done for the British Film Council for River Island, who are a massive uh, retailer. My 15-year-old daughter is a big fan of uh, River Island. They did an event at um, Somerset House. It's the fashion event of the year. People queued up to go onto this stand. It was done with uh, Vodafone, Google Cardboard, British Film Council, and River Island. Every year, they do something called the Design Forum, okay? 
and they take a designer. This year it was Jean-Pierre Braganza, who created these beautiful dresses which had kingfishers augmented with chromium mot motorcycle parts. We created, an, there was a film made all about the dress. People went to Somerset House, they watched the film, they could try the dresses, and after the film, they were invited to put a phone inside a headset and put themselves inside the animated film. So it was a wonderful immersive experience, and when you went to the shop, or when you went online, and you bought Jean-Pierre Braganza's designs, you were given a free cardboard headset so you could enjoy the experience at home. Okay. Um, Glamour magazine at the time, this was back in 2015, said, well, we'll be honest, the words virtual reality technology didn't immediately grab us, but when linked with Google and River Island, fashion and film, it became an altogether different matter. Suddenly, people thinking, how can you use VR and fashion? How can you combine them? When they saw this, Glamour magazine said, I get it, it's sexy, okay? And you're sure it was sexy because everyone's doing it. These aren't all happy finish experiences. This is, if you Google fashion and VR and who's doing it, you'll see Jean-Paul Gaultier is doing it. When you look down, you are the bottle. The guy takes the can off. Suddenly, you can see all these people staring at you. And you think, why are people staring at me? And you look down, you realize you're the Jean-Paul Gaultier bottle, and there's all these cool characters moving around you. Christian Dior have used it in store. Jason Wu has used it on the catwalk, Elle magazine, Sports Illustrated, Tommy Filger, Hilfiger. They're giving you the opportunity to sit in the front row of a fashion show, and instead of watching a fashion show on a rectangular screen, suddenly you can follow the models. Garage magazine is something Happy Finish did for fashion editorial. The magazine is a biannual. It's 10 pounds per edition. It comes out twice a year. You have an app with it. You snap the cover, you snap pictures, and it launches augmented reality experiences and virtual reality experiences. It's very cool. So suddenly you can see everyone's using it. Topshop, a couple of years ago, did a really fun uh, VR experience where they gave you the opportunity to watch a, free se a fashion show live. This, was re this is Oxford Circus, one of the busiest shopping areas in London. You can see the people standing outside looking at the lucky people sitting inside who were live watching a fashion show, okay? So there's many different ways you can apply this format to uh, fashion. Now, this isn't fashion, but Rihanna, this is a project that was done by a fashion photographer. It was done for Samsung, it's called Anti-Diary, and it was a project to launch uh, Rihanna's new album, which is called Anti. And it's a really clever thing, because when we first started doing virtual reality, it was, I'm on a roller coaster, woohoo! And then it gets a bit boring, okay? Like I said, it's a tool for storytelling, and this campaign employs 360 very cleverly for storytelling. Let me show you more. It started on November the 23rd last year. Samsung sent out a tweet saying, unlock the mystery, and you saw this sweet, well, you think it's sweet, Rihanna in bed, children with her all playing, and it's all fun, but then it starts getting a little bit Stanley Kubrick shining, and we're suddenly in the long corridor, and it gets a little bit creepy. And it says, what is Antidari? And if you went to antidari.com on your computer, you saw this, which should have audio, but doesn't. Not to worry. It's not an important message that's on this, but what you do here, and I'm going to try and switch the audio in a minute, is just interference, noise, and, inter and chaos. It's deliberately mad. Can we try that again with the audio, please? Do I need to switch over? Don't shrug your shoulders. Let's get with it, man. <laughs> All right, so let's do that. Just want to get the audio back, ladies and gentlemen. Give me two seconds. It's there, cool. Thank you very much. All right, so people watched the video. It came out, and then suddenly Elle magazine, Vogue magazine, all the sorts of magazines that Rihanna wants to be associated with are asking the same question. What is this cool anti-diary uh, experience? Now, this isn't a virtual reality experience because you don't wear a headset to view it. But it is a 360 experience because it's designed for mobile and you need to move your mobile around to explore it. Let me explain. When you went to antidiary.com on your mobile, you first of all, at the begin on November the 23rd, the day the tweet came out, one room was unlocked and the others were all unlocked. After two months, all the rooms became unlocked, all photographed by a beautiful fashion photographer called Jim Fiscus. You would touch on a room. The first thing you would see is a 2D film, a normal 2D film. And as the 
fil- the, as the um, rooms unlocked, the story unfolded. It was an ongoing, episodic adventure to keep the audience engaged. Once you saw the film, you entered the room. There's the bedroom on the top left, the closet, the office. You'd move your phone around, and inside the room, let me show you, would be moving items. Now, you'd never see it like this. This is an outstretched version. This is like seeing the whole of the globe. You'd normally just see a small part of it, and you'd explore around it. And as you moved over something that was moving, like the guy with his hood, it would activate movies, stills. It was a treasure hunt, a really exciting thing. It was encouraging the user to explore and search. 360 virtual reality is normally shot on 360 cameras. People use GoPros, people are using Nokias, and they shoot really good 360. But this photographer, Jim Fiskus, said, if you want my look, you need to use my camera. And he uses a single lens Sony SLR to achieve his beautiful photographic look, which we do not want to compromise. So, happy finish, went to New York, nailed down the camera, click, 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 click. 18 photographs later, we stitched them together, we gave them to our GA, and they made them, they integrated them into this application, this mobile application, okay? Like I say, and all the stuff that's moving was actually stills. It's actually stop frame animation, which has a really nice spooky feel, which goes hand in hand with the spooky feel of the piece. There was also an outdoor experience, Sleep No More, um, sorry, Punch Drunk, the theater company that do outside side theater, they put you in the center of their theater shows. They're a really amazing theater company. They were involved in the creation of this experience. They started drawing images on lampposts around America. They set up I Am The Key Holder on Twitter and on Instagram. That Twitter got 60,000 followers. The films that you saw have got over 4 million views, and the album is number one in the charts, all right? So another thing about, I was asked to speak, we, Happy Finish creates virtual reality experiences. We, do the, we can do the creative, we can do the creative consultation and development, we can do your filming, we can do the post-production, and we can do the delivery. We can do everything you need us to do, okay? Um, I was asked to specifically talk about fashion and e-commerce. We do empathy VR, we've just done something that shows you what it's like to be an autistic child. We're working on all sorts of experiences. This is something we didn't do, but I want to show you, because I was asked to talk about fashion and e-commerce. Have a look at this film. Virtual reality department store. We've created a new way to shop, and it's all powered by you. Oh, and this little thing. This is a pair of eBay shopticals, and they'll give you a glimpse into the future of shopping. What if you didn't need walls, floors, or escalators to have an amazing shopping experience? And what if you could get really close to the things you love to really check them out? And what if you could enter a department store that's just for you, one that has learned about you, adapted to what you like to shop for, and in time, it's personalized its product selections just for you? Well, the future is now. Welcome to the world's first virtual reality department store, brought to you by eBay and Maya. We've created a brand new technology called Sight Search to help you navigate around the experience. Just using your eyes, you can browse, sort and purchase items. As you do, the VR department store will learn, adapt and personalize what it shows you, saving you time as you explore. And when you look at the things you love, you can see every possible detail all in one place. But don't take our word for it. We asked eBay shoppers what they thought. It's like I'm in another world. This is freaky. Oh my God. I know this makes it too easy to spend far too much money. It is a very personalized experience because I just feel like I'm in my own little zone. the items, you could flip the items around so that you could see top, bottom, sides. It was just fantastic. She and we want you to try it too. Five camels. <laughs> All you need is a pair of shopticles. Go to ebay.com.au forward slash VR and you're in luck because we have 20,000 to give away. It's time to shop virtually anywhere.
as you saw the man say, this is too easy. I could easily spend too much money in this environment. Um, I'm going to show you something that we've recently done. I'm just going to skip out. That's what Confucius said 2,500 years ago. If you tell me something, I'll forget it. If you show me something, I might remember. But if you involve me, I will understand. Virtual reality, when you wear it, you have presence. You're immersed inside a situation. And it's when you have presence and you're involved, you understand. You understand about the product. You understand about the story. Let me show you a real quick thing. This is something we've just done. Uh, this is brand new. We did a virtual reality experience for George from Asda. Now, George are in the business of selling furniture. OK? So this is a virtual reality experience, just doing this live. And um, she's a video a blogger I've been most excited about called Hannah Mags. And she takes you around so a kid's bedroom. Really excited about and what we've also done is made it shoppable. So if you see the rug or everywhere. if you see the clock on the wall, there are little hot spots on these yeah. items. I can click on it, find out more, buy now, and add to basket. All in one transaction. So we're doing shoppable virtual reality. That's on a browser. We can also do that in headset. OK, it's really cool technology. So that's something I wanted to share with you. And if I may, and I'm, I'm running over time a little bit, but I just want to show you something else we've just done recently, OK? For Glenn Fiddick. Glenn Fiddick, we just created a virtual reality tour of their distillery. Now, this isn't fashion, but it, I just wanted to share it with you because it's a brand new experience and it's something I'm very proud of, OK? The way that Glenn Fiddick are going to use this is they're going to use it two ways. They're going to use it in stores, so you're going to be at department stores, not department stores, duty free stores, given a little bit of whiskey, try it, wear a headset, and you'll be able to go on a tour of distillery. Really nice storytelling. And the storytelling you're going to see in the film I'm going to show you really shows you how to use that 360 canvas. The other thing is the film sits on their Facebook page, it sits on their YouTube page, and people with a headset can enjoy that. Okay? Now, and you can actually turn a box from a whiskey box into a cardboard box headset. We've done this before for Becca Beer. Martel Brandy just did it. Turning your product, I'm talking at the moment to a shoe company about turning their shoe boxes into virtual reality headsets, which is a really smart way of combining your product and the experience. Have I got time to show it? No? All right. But well, if you want to see it, I'll tell you what, I'll whiz through it. This is a five minute film, but to just show you, it takes two seconds. You're on a drone camera. OK, the drone goes to the distillery in Scotland. You're introduced because to a, a guy. Turn the sound a down a bit. Who tells, starts telling you the story of Glenfiddich whiskey, this why it tastes so good, come in. how and they I make it, the, how the you, that we have at this what point, barrels they use to, to age the whiskey. We have they have tons of barrels. Now, if you were watching this in VR, you'd have to look up to see all of those barrels. From. Really clever 360. Then he tells you, Him nearly finished, about here. a room where all the secrets happen. Speaking That's 180 degrees away. You'd actually physically have to turn around to see that room. And he starts look walking towards you. it. And he says, let me take you into the room where all the secrets happen. But of course, He's not going to do that. He takes you onto the roof of a car park in London and says, try the whiskey and to find out more. It's a really clever way of having taste, audio, sight, and sensation. Very exciting way to sell the whiskey. Um, I've overstayed my welcome, but thank you very much for having me. I hope you've learned a bit more about VR and hope to speak to you soon.